Welcome back to the channel, everybody. I am Mick Alphany. Subscribe to the channel. Make sure you click that like button, turn it into a rocket, and just send it into the atmosphere. All right. Now, this is from Algorand.com. I mentioned before about Algorand working with C, uh, CBDCs or working on CBDCs. Uh, central bank digital currencies. It's not something I hear a lot of people talk about when they're talking about Algorand, which leaves a lot of money off of the table. I mean, leaves a lot of money on the table, right? Be uh, as far as information that retail investors need to know if they wanted to invest in something that's going to be major in the future, like Algorand. With all the money from CBDCs flowing through the Algorand template, the Algorand ledger, right, being overlaid because they're making hybrid CBDCs, that's something major. That's something that I want to invest in. That's something that I'm going to hold long term because sky's the limit. Now, maybe nothing happens or maybe a company that is as good as Algorand is going to take off into the stratosphere at some point. And this is something that I would want to know. Someone like me would want to know. So I mentioned in the last video about CBDCs and Algorand. Now, let me read from their website a little bit about that topic. So. This is from Algorand.com. Central bank digital currencies, CBDCs, could represent the most exciting innovation seen in central banking in decades and represent an attempt of replacing cash with a more efficient modern type of money. CBDC initiatives are rapidly multiplying. Remember that when it comes to XLM, comes to Algorand, when it comes to XRP, that there's so many different banks and governments looking for this particular technology, okay? CBD, CBDC initiatives are rapidly multiplying and the large majority of central banks around the world from the People's Bank of China to the European Central Bank have planned proofs of concept or launched experimentations to test the feasibility of a CBDC. Governments, too, have been in the process of seeking to understand and adopt digital currencies and to learn more about their potential to foster economic growth and prosperity for their people, preserve monetary value, and maintain governance over their currency. Didn't I say that before, that uh, the governments were trying to... I know, other people have covered this. But when it comes to algo, I don't hear a lot of people talking about it. A lot of people have covered CBDCs when it comes to XRP, XLM, other crypto. But when it comes to Algorand, and I follow a lot of YouTube channels. I follow a lot of them, guys. I try to stay up on information. I don't hear a lot of people talking about Algorand in that same lane. And yet they are. Okay, let's continue on. CBDC challenges. The challenges that CBDCs pose, however, to central banks... This is key. This is why they're going to need companies like Algorand to help them. The challenges that CBDCs pose, however, to central banks and regulators, along with the considerations they require, are numerous, including choosing the right design, which Algorand has, infrastructure, level of decentralization versus centralization, policy, and more. Several economic and technology experts from across the Algorand ecosystem have come together to create a CBDC paper. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. In an effort to educate public leaders facing the reality of new digital economy. So there's already governments going over these papers. There's already They're already working behind the scenes with these uh, countries, governments, uh, 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 banking systems already. OK, what is included in the CBDC report? Now, let's listen to this very carefully. This is key here. First bullet point, designing efficient CBDC, learning about principles for designing efficient central bank digital currencies that Algorand has identified through our various CBDC projects. Second bullet point, economic considerations when issuing CBDC gain a better understanding of economic implications when issuing a CBDC from balance sheet and financial stability uh, implications to monetary policy consequences, okay? The Algorand protocol, understand more about the Algorand protocol, including design principles and high-level overview of the protocol itself. So they're helping them understand the, the Algorand uh, protocol. 
issuing retail CBDC with Algorand. Investigate Algorand's approach to issuing retail CBDC, including a detailed overview of relevant design considerations and examples of use cases facilitated by the Algorand platform. So they're going to show them how fast Algorand moves, how smooth it moves, the security of it. All of this is very tempting to banks. All of this, the transparency of it, okay, or lack thereof, and, and how they can go about working to create a, a tailor-made CBDC. We're going to get to that too, talking about hybrid CBDCs, okay? So that there, it's, it's very adaptable. This is very tempting to governments and banks, as well as retail investors. Uh, what did we leave? We represent, oh, in particular, we present the critical use cases of issuing CBDC when connectivity is limited and adjustable privacy requirements for low and high value transactions. Issuing wholesale CBDC, review Algorand's design approach to wholesale CBDC and the most relevant use cases. <laughs> brilliant, just absolutely brilliant. Conclusion, closing thoughts on why, listen to this, what did I just say before about hybrid CBDCs, why they're gonna get into it. Closing thoughts on why a hybrid CBDC model built on a private instance of the open public Algorand blockchain in a two-tier retail system is a unique approach from enterprises and other providers. I'm trying not to get too excited. I'm really trying, but my rocket pack, I'm just getting my rocket pack on. I'm ready to go to the moon, baby. I know you hear that a lot, but I get excited. Algorand is, these these. this is a fantastic organization, a fantastic coin. Now, on hybrid CBDC, let's go a little deeper. Let's go to another article here. There is a, uh, I'm gonna read you this. It's from r3.com. It's an upload, it's a report. Uh, I don't want to lose my place. It's on page nine. Who wrote this report? Oh, a report by Daniel Aiden and George Kali or Kaye. All right, let's go back. It was on page nine about hybrid CBDCs. Give me one moment. This is going to be key. We are cooking today. Algorand is, we are, we are doing so good. Uh, hybrid CBDC. Many central banks are taking a collaborative approach with the private sector. For example, the Bank of England, oh, that's a, there's a lot of money there. For example, the Bank of England is researching what it calls platform, the platform model in which the bank is the only entity allowed to create or destroy a token, the core ledger, while leaving payment interface providers, PIPs, to interact with end users. Okay, this is that two-tier that two -tier system they're talking about, how it's a hybrid where, where the banks have a little bit of control to give them less, enough security, but they need that cutting edge technology. This is where Algorand comes in, two layer system. They work hand in hand, they work together, okay? All that money flooding, just flooding through Algorand, all right? The proposal gives the PIPs the responsibility to maintain KYC checks while also giving them the freedom to provide customers with the additional overlay services. Additionally, the People's Bank of China has discussed a model in which the PBOC would issue and redeem retail CBDC through a network of domestic commercial banks. Listen, guys, <laughs> I'm not going to go any further. That's from R3.com. Like I said, you can look that up. Just type in R3 CBDC report. And this is a very vast report. Very well written. So go check that out. Um Algorand is a fantastic company. They're doing very well. I'm highly impressed. Um, this is another long hole for me. I'm not really a, a, a scalper, a, a day trader type of individual. I look for very solid projects. I'm going to keep you updated on all the Algorand news that I can. Um, I, I check every day. You can come here, watch the videos. All you have to do is sit back and listen. I'm going to read you information and give you my opinion on it. I am not a financial investor. But I'm going to do my best to give you updated news and give you accurate data information. All right. So subscribe to the channel. Uh, strong hands for Algorand. All right. And make sure you click that like button and send that like button. Boom. Send that like button to the stratosphere. 
Algorand is on fire. And let me check my watch. Check my watch twice. Check my watch a third time. I think it's time for me to go see what my Algorand is doing. I might even have to, you know, just 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 buy a few. We're, we're doing very well today, though. Like, we're doing very well today. <laughs> so I might have to just wait for a dip. See you guys in the next one. And until then, let's get to the money.